Hi guys, it's Jay from Ayaba's Wind. I am back to do a new set of readings. Um, this new set of readings is called Summer Tarot Gumbo. So I'm going to be reading strictly from um, oracle cards that I've created, um, along with some classic oracle cards from the Kipper deck um, and uh, the other deck, the Sibylla deck, okay? And if you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. I apologize for my brief uh, absence, but um, it is summertime in the city. Um, so I've been enjoying, you know, friends and family and enjoying the weather. Um, it's definitely a blessing. And I hope that you are doing the same before uh, winter um, comes. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. So just give me a couple of seconds. Um, if you want to skip the shuffle, you can jump to about minute two, okay? So I'm going to get started. Okay, guys. So um, this is for the sign of Leo. Um, and Leo, um, the message is, is that this relationship is over. Okay. And it's something about an STD. Someone has contracted something, um, sexually transmitted disease or something related to the sex organs. It could have been a yeast infection, a baby as a result of um, unprotected contact. It could be gonorrhea, chlamydia. Um, okay, but someone is avoiding the other. So it could be that maybe this STD is causing someone to avoid the other person. Um, we're going to see a little further. Okay. Okay, so you definitely got to watch your back. Okay, but someone has definitely a lucky mojo. Okay. And the reason why I call this gumbo, because I'm going to be pulling from an assortment of cards, okay? All right, so let's start off with this um, deck. Um, so this relationship is over. Something in your love story is over, okay? It could be, you know, that you are basically coming to terms with a, a relationship from the past that's over with, that's been over, but like in your mind, you're still connected to it. Or it could be something that you're currently in. Um, just keep in mind these energies could have recently taken pay, um, could have taken place in the recent past. They could be happening now or it could happen in the near future, okay? And these energies are going to be relevant for um, the next several days, several weeks, or several months, depending on your, your spiritual development, okay? Um, and so, like I said, in STD, so STD, uh, STI, sexually transmitted disease or infection, um, gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, trichomonas, um, HIV, uh, what's the other one? Um, um, HPV, um, and herpes. Okay. Someone has something, um, that is causing discomfort. Now it may not be necessarily, um, that it could be a yeast infection. It, there's some kind of imbalance within the sex organs that spirit is wanting you to make note of. Okay. But someone is avoiding the other, and it could be as a result of this STD, you know, maybe someone is playing the field, maybe someone has multiple partners. Okay. And they're going back and forth and maybe the person that they're dealing with in their like sexual network is also stepping out with someone. And so therefore these things are being passed on. Okay. But there is heartbreak or there was heartbreak. All right. So we're not going to focus our energy much on that, but someone was clearly heartbroken, like the three of swords. All right. Um, 
But spirit is saying maybe the heartbreak was as a result of a snake in the grass or that someone cannot be trusted. This is what this really means. It's someone that it's someone cannot be trusted around you. It could be someone, you know, in your friend group. It could be a lover, um, you know, someone that you were dealing with. OK, um, but spirit is saying a soulmate is coming soon. So, you know, sometimes you got to deal with drama, you know, before the real deal shows up. OK, and just keep in mind, you know. The masculine and feminine energies, you know, men and women walk with both of these energies, okay? So, you know, um, just keep that in mind, all right? And I'm talking, I'm referring to, um, referring to your love story. So your love story includes you, your special person, aka your divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever you're into, or if you want to call them your soulmate, your, your special person, your twin flame, whatever it is that you believe in. And then there's karmics. These are people that you date, sometimes you even marry, sometimes you have kids with, thinking that they're your one, your special one, when they're really not. You're just there with them to learn a lesson about yourself, you know, to connect you closer to spirit. You know, once you learn these lessons, you eventually leave them, and then you come into union with your special person. And a lot of times you coming into union with your special person is not easy, okay? It is change, it's transformation and change can be very uncomfortable, okay? But someone is wearing a false mask. So we got a snake and a false mask. So someone's being phony, okay? They could be saying that they, you know, they love you, they're in love with you, they want to be with you, but really it could be, uh, you know, um, they could be love bombing you, okay? Um, play games of chance to win big. So spirit is saying you have a lucky hand, okay? You got a lucky mojo, you got a lucky streak with you. So that's not saying like, <laughs> take your kids tuition and gamble it, you know, um, but spirit is saying like, you know, play a dollar or two. Okay. You know, be consistent, you know, um, just do things in moderation and see what you can get. All right. Um, spirit is saying you will be famous or meet a famous person. Okay. So, you know, Leo's I'm a fellow Leo. My birthday is, um, next week. Um, but anyway, um, you know, you could be in the spotlight. Or you could want to be in the spotlight. You know, Leos are big on fashion. They're they're big on, you know, culture. They're big on the arts and creativity. So it's something that you're doing or something that you're going to do that's going to put you in the spotlight if you're not already in the spotlight, okay? I do have some celebrities that watch people in their own right. You know, you could be a struggling actor and all of a sudden you get your big break, Okay. Um, you book this amazing job or a national commercial or something like that, right? But Spirit is saying you're going to be famous um, or meet a famous person. So a famous person could come across your path. Like you could be in the supermarket and, you know, you guys lock eyes with each other. You start talking and come to find out that this person is, you know, some big time celebrity or whatever. Um, and so that fame could come through someone, Okay. Um, or you could save someone that falls in the in the subway tracks, okay? And you can make the news, the local paper, whatever it is, and, um, you know, get fame that way, okay? But I'm a narcissist and an egomaniac, okay? So, Leo, I'm not saying you're a narcissist. Although you know what you do, you know who you are, or you know what you've been told. But Spirit is saying that there's a narcissist. There's someone who's full of themselves, who's very egocentric, you know, it's... This person that's around you, this person that spirit is referring to is all about me, me, me. Okay. And so spirit is saying that there is an egomaniac around you. All right. And and being an egomaniac, it is difficult to learn lessons. And it's it, because you don't learn these life lessons, then you stay stuck and stagnant and you don't evolve in this world, in this earthly plane. Okay. But there's a special person that wants a long-term commitment with you. Okay, so rest assured, there is someone on the scene that really wants to be um, connected to you. Okay, we're going to try for the next step. We have a description of someone. And we also have a time frame, all right? 
And that's what I like about these decks. They they give you like a time frame. They give you a description of someone or people involved in your love story. Okay. I'm only pulling a couple of cards each deck because I don't want your reading to be too long. And you guys know how I am. <laughs> I own it. Like, I'll do a cluster of readings for you. And then, you know, life happens, things get busy. And then, you know, I'm not able to do readings for a minute. Okay. Because it, it spiritually can be, it can be a bit draining. Okay. Um, so just hang in there with me. Okay. Let me see one more. Okay, this deck is good. All right, guys. So the message is, well, they have a description. Um, Spirit is saying that there's someone in your love story that's tall. So there's someone, and that's rel that's relative, okay? So I'm 5'3", right? So someone who's tall is clearly taller than 5'3", okay? It's not like a set height, okay? So this person who's tall, they're, they're taller than you. No matter what your height is, they're tall or they consider tall for their frame and their body um, and their sex, okay? Um, but be careful at night. So spirit wants you to keep your eyes open at night. It could be um, to be careful uh, regarding physical people and beings, or it could be be careful regarding spiritual energies out at night, okay? We know like the night energy starts to change, okay? And there are sometimes darker energies that are active at night. And so spirit is saying, you know, definitely be aware of your surroundings, you know, definitely do spiritual baths, especially if you're in areas where, you know, people have been killed, you know, uh, you're walking down dark areas, walking near cemeteries, that kind of thing. Okay, just be very careful and mindful, right? Um, but someone in this love story has straight hair, okay? Straight hair, it could be your own hair, it could be weave hair, it could be a wig, whatever, but someone has straight hair or straight-ish hair, all right? Um, Spirit is saying that there's gonna be sudden or shocking surprise coming, okay? There is going to be a surprise, okay? Someone, like I'm hearing, um, knock your socks off. That's the saying. You, and you guys know I'm not good with sayings, but I'm hearing Spirit is saying something about this is going to knock your socks off or that people are going to be shocked with this news. All right. So something is going to happen in March, April, May. If something significant didn't happen this past spring, this upcoming spring for 2022, March, April, May, Guys, mark your calendar, <laughs> okay? Something significant is gonna happen. There could be a proposal. Someone could be getting married. Someone could be giving birth, okay? Or someone could be getting pregnant. Maybe there could be someone passing, okay? But it, the spring is gonna be significant for you, okay? Um, then we have another time frame. So June, July, August, which is what we're in, summer, okay? This time frame that we are in is significant. Something significant has happened or will happen by the time August is over for you, Leos. Okay. So spirit is saying something significant is happening. Okay. Or has happened. Now, if it, if it hasn't happened in this earthly plane, in this 3D plane, something could be happening spiritually. So there could be a spiritual evolution that's taking place. I'm sorry, it's a plane or something going by. Okay. Um, all right. And so, guys, right after that card, I have a baby is on the way. Okay. So it could be for some. Remember, this is a general love reading. It's not going to apply to everybody. Okay you could have gotten pregnant or you could get pregnant within these months of June, July, August, okay? That's a possibility. Or you could be giving birth to a baby in March, April, May with the card before it. Or you could be getting pregnant in the spring months. Nevertheless, a baby is coming. There is a baby in this love story, okay? Whether you are with your special person or whether you're with a karmic, Okay, which is a temporary thing, hopefully, if you learn your lessons, okay? But a baby is coming, okay? 
if the baby's not already here. I'm competing with you. So someone is competing. And remember, men can compete with women too, okay? Um, it's not just women with women and men competing with men, all right? There is some kind of competition or that you are, uh, yeah, or that there's someone who is trying to choose between you and someone, okay? And so therefore there's competition and they're kind of wavering, almost like that two of coins card, okay? Um, or juggling, uh, or the two of swords, which is, you know, or two of wands making a decision or a decision that's been made, okay? But the love was too intense and I, so I couldn't handle it, so I left, okay? So it could be that, you know, someone was really getting caught up in someone and it just became overwhelming emotionally and someone could have backed out. They could have looked for a reason to back out. You know, they couldn't, they may not have had the patience or the tolerance for someone, maybe because of past hurt, okay? But it was too hot. It was too intense, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that someone has to be careful, danger from a car accident. So please definitely be careful of crossing the streets um, of driving, distracted, you know, driving with like music blasting, you know, it's summertime, everyone's blasting their music, okay? And so spirit is saying, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful around the streets, all right? Um, spirit is saying there's a stalker. So you can have people watching, you could have people watching you around your house, like neighbors, you know, you could have someone driving by your house, you know, someone could be like stalking you on social media. Someone is stalking you, all right? I can't love you because I, I, I don't love myself. Okay, so Spirit is saying is that someone could be struggling with self-love, okay? They could be kind of trying to like grapple with this concept of what love is. Maybe because they didn't have it when they were growing up or it was in scarcity, you know, maybe people were not expressing emotions or affection, they don't know how to take it. But spirit is saying that, you know, there was, a, there was some issues around someone dealing with love, okay? Okay. So these messages are, a little, we're not, I'm not gonna take that because I don't like how it, so these messages are a little more intense with this red and white deck. Okay. These are a little more intense and we have some double confirmations here. So guys, wow, we have a lot of double confirmations here. Okay, lots, okay. And some of them are good, so I'm excited for you. All right. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. I know you guys are waiting. You are eager. This will be the last shovel. Okay. Okay. Hold on just a second. All right, so it gets a little more intense, all right? Um, I want a higher commitment with you to the church for a wedding, okay? So yes, honey, will you, uh, wedding bells. Wedding bells are gonna be ringing, okay? This means it may not necessarily be a wedding, but someone wants a deeper commitment, they want they want to go to the next level with you, okay? And so Spirit is saying, now it could be the soulmate that's coming, this special person that really wants a commitment from you, all right? I chose them because they are more my speed and not intimidating, okay? So someone is with someone, you know, not necessarily because they love them, but it's because this person is more manageable, <laughs> okay? They don't give them any heat. There's no expectations. It's like this person lets them run wild and have their cake and eat it too and lets them do all that and they don't make a fuss, okay? But when there's love involved, when there's true love involved, you know, that love can be intense, okay? And so, you know, 
it, it's not going to be easy to to live that <laughs> that single life, um, have your cake and eat it too, and you're just going to walk into the sunset and get away scot free. Like people are not having that. All right. Um, accidents and injuries, double confirmation. So guys, you guys got to be careful. You got to be careful crossing the street, you know, you know, um, watch down corners, um, don't answer phone, you know, don't get in heated conversations while you're driving, pay attention. Okay. Um, here's another shocker. Sudden shocking news will come to you real fast. Okay. This is another, another, um, um, what do you call another double confirmation? Okay. There's going to be shocking news, like for your situation, something in your love story, something is, is not only going to shock you, <laughs> it's going to shock the people around you in your friend group and your family group. People are going to be floored. All right. This is what I'm getting. I never knew love like this before. So whatever love is growing, is blossoming, whatever love is there, is it's going to be unlike no other love, okay? And so the spirit is saying, like, get ready, get ready. Um, all the pain I caused in this relationship is coming back to me as karma. Okay, so someone who, like, really did not do the right thing, they violated someone, if they violated you, okay, they're going to pay for it, like, there is divine justice. You can't just go in the world, you know, running over people, not literally, <laughs> please don't. Um, and I hope that's never happened to anyone, but you can't just go in the world, you know, violating people, you know, and, and I've said in previous videos, everyone walks with a spiritual entourage, okay? Um, and not everyone's lineage is the same. You can't assume because people's personalities are meek and they don't speak up for themselves, they may not be vocal, that you can walk all over them and not feel like you're gonna pay the consequences. It doesn't work that way, okay? So you, when you violate someone, you violate that person's whole spiritual entourage and there is going to be hell to pay, okay? As to when that hell and that tower moment hits, you know, I can't say <laughs> that's the divine's timing, all right? But spirit is saying karma's gonna come back around if it hasn't already. But you are in the spotlight, fame is here, okay? Here we go, double confirmation again. So this fame thing, Leo's and my head is tingling, someone is gonna hit big, okay? A spirit is saying to me, people who have underestimated you, they're gonna regret it. They're gonna regret it, I promise you, okay? Spirit is saying, be careful of dating websites and apps, all right? I'm saying that my left eye is blinking. When your left eye blinks, for me, is that there's something that's not good that comes out of this whole dating app thing. So please use discretion. Don't go to people's houses, okay? People can't use COVID as the excuse to be hooking up in people's houses anymore, all right? So Spirit is saying, be very careful of who you deal with, all right? Um, Spirit is saying, there's a serial cheater. Um, now it could be the serial cheater card that came after the dating website. It could be that someone's in your love story that's in your love story was cheating as a result of going, going on these web websites like Bumble, um, Hinge, um, Tinder, whatever these dating websites are. Okay. So someone could have been on these dating sub, they could have been cheating via, via these data, these dating sites or like IG or whatever it is, Facebook. Um, I know they all have their um, dating platforms, okay? But someone has paid someone to do a love spell. So guys, this is, it's not quite black magic, but someone is doing spell work, okay? They could be lighting up a candle. They could be going to, you know, auntie who's a tarot reader or their friend's grandmother, <laughs> doing something, lighting something up, doing something, okay, to try and ma manipulate spiritual energies. And yet again, this thing can backfire because you really don't know who you're messing with, okay? Um, and you know what? You could think that someone is good for you, but spirit is like, no, this person's not good for you. You could do a love spell depending on the magnitude and this person could be hooked on you for a long time <laughs> until death do you part and it could make your life miserable. So yeah, don't play with love spells, okay? It's not a good look. Um, 
pregnancy and fertility are inevitable, okay? So Leos, this is your fertile time, okay? Pregnancy, if you are a man watching this, if you're a female, look, y'all. <laughs> you're a man, you could get someone pregnant. If you're a female, you could get pregnant, okay? It's a hot summer and Leos are fire signs, okay? And yeah, <laughs> okay, so you guys got to be careful, all right? Wish is fulfilled and love comes rushing in, all right? So, you know, this pregnancy could have been as a result of the passion that two people share, all right? And maybe this thing could blossom into a, a, a deeper love, okay? I'm not saying a baby, you know, fixes everything. I'm not saying that. Um, but maybe someone could realize the love that they have for someone, okay? But love is going to come rushing in. This is like the star card, okay? A secret admirer, I want to be more than just friends, okay? So this, it could be the stalker, someone who's watching you um, that, you know, wants to be more than just friends, okay? And so, you know, Spirit is saying that you definitely have a secret admirer, all right? If you go back with them, they will hurt you again, warning. So Spirit is saying that there is someone... And, you know, we all have multiple exes, you know, from our past at different, you know, sections in our life, okay? And so not sure which ex that Spirit is referring to, but Spirit is saying that if you go back with someone, one of those, okay, it's not going to be a good look for you. Mind games and manipulation, and maybe you going back with this person the the turmoil that you're ex you'll experience will be as a result of the mind games that this person plays okay they could be very manipulative and in in the beginning you know spirit was talking about there's an egomaniac there is someone who is full of themselves there's a narcissist okay but new love brings hot steamy passion okay leo's love passion they love passion okay so there's going to be a hot connection coming in so get ready, okay? Um, there's a toxic ex, though, that's lurking in the background that's trying to prevent this connection from happening, okay? So, you know, we did get the card of spell work um, earlier in this particular deck, and then you get a toxic ex. This toxic ex could be a man, <laughs> if, you're, if, if you're a female dating man. Um, this toxic ex could be a woman, okay? If you're a man dating a man, it doesn't matter. Okay, anyone could do spell work, all right? And if people are miserable in and of themselves, um, they don't want you to be happy for whatever reason, whatever vendetta it is they have against you, <laughs> they're jealous of you, they're angry because you're not giving them attention, whatever it is, spirit is saying that you got a toxic ex and so you definitely got to do, you know, mantras for protection, Mantras for love, and you know, guys, you know I'm big on the mantras. Okay, um, you gotta, you gotta stay focused and think positively. Okay, um, there is a new love interest on the scene. So, new, 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 new. That is what I, I don't know. I may put this as a title, new, 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 because I keep seeing new, new, new. Now, new can mean that there's um, someone from the past that you know that you may have been lightly, lightly dealing with, that it could blossom into something more, like significant. And this could be the beginning of a new cycle, a new relationship, okay? Or this could actually be a new person that's coming on the scene that you haven't seen yet, okay? So let's go to the Sibylla deck. I don't like how those came out. like that. I like the cards to fly out. Okay, we'll take that. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hold on just a second.
Okay. Um, all right, so so let's get started. It came out with the baby, the ch the the child. Okay, came out with the child. Now with this child, this again is is confirming it's uh, confirming that there's a child that's going to be coming. Okay, this child that comes may rock the boat. Okay, and that's why this po it's possibility that this card came reversed because this child could cause upheaval in someone's life, okay? Or it can, you know, maybe this could be the shocker. Maybe this child could be the shocker, okay? Also, um, for people who are pregnant or going to be getting pregnant, you definitely got to be saying prayers for the health and the well-being of this child, okay? You know, spirit, <laughs> right after the child card <laughs> is the gift card. Okay, so this child could bring wealth and happiness and abundance. And I'm not saying like material wealth, but this could be, a, you know, a, a huge blessing um, in disguise. Okay, so spirit is saying that, you know, wealth is coming, money is coming. Okay, um, prosperity, wealth and love, wealth and success. Okay, there's also the sweetheart. Okay, so this sweetheart could be the one that's pregnant. Maybe the sweetheart is you. Okay. Maybe, um, you know, it could be that someone was initially just kind of like, I don't want to say like frolicking with you, um, you know, kind of testing the waters with you. And so you may have been this person's sweetheart, which is not necessi necessarily saying that like they're taking you as their woman or their man. Um, but this could have blossomed into some, this could blossom into something more. Okay. And the journey came to the side. So, you know, the journey hasn't been easy. The journey could be the road of, of trials and tribulations could be coming to an end for new beginnings, okay? You did get the, um, the thief card in reverse. So what Spirit is saying, you know, people, whoever was cheating, whoever was, you know, conniving, I hear a conniving, thieving bastard, <laughs> okay? And those are not my words, but this is what Spirit is saying. Whatever that was, Spirit is saying, like, that has all been intervened with. Spirit has divine, um, divinely intervened with that. Um, you did get the doctor card, which came to the side. So, so someone definitely needs to be checking. Um, they need to go to the doctor. You know, you did get the STD card in the beginning. So just definitely make sure that whatever it is, if it's minor or even in the fact that you could be pregnant because it's talking about fertility, that you get started on a regimen early, okay? The sooner you know, the better. Um, you have faithfulness, all right? And so, you know, this came to the side. So, you know, the whole idea of trust is a little shaky right now in your love story, okay? It's not to say that it's completely gone, but, you know, something has, something more significant has to be established. Um, you got prison to the side. So, you know, I see this card, you know, someone is in tur turmoil. Someone is is really regretting what it is that they've done to you. Um, now, maybe this is you regretting what you've done to them, but I'm feeling like there is a person that violated you and they're really regretting it. And they're like, what the hell have I done? And basically it's it's like almost like the Eight of Swords card where it's like self-imprisonment. It's like this person did things to sabotage the relationship and they basically fucked up, <laughs> okay? There's no other way to say, well, there is another way, but that's the word that sounds is more fitting at this time. Um, you do have a lover. So this lover is coming in to... I don't know if I want to say save the day, but like they're coming in to serenade you, to woo you, to um, to seduce you. Okay, there there is someone that's really into you. They could like the color red. Okay, um, they could be very you know um, hip, stylish. You know, a spirit is saying that someone is they're either wooing you or they're about to come on the scene and woo you, okay? And this other person, this toxic ex is stressed the hell out, okay? And then you have enemy, all right? So you have an enemy that's lurking. You gotta watch out. You, you And you know, Spirit mentioned that there's a snake in the grass earlier, that the, there's someone wearing a false mask. So you definitely have to keep your eyes open no matter how good things appear.
All right, so we're gonna stop with that. Okay, so this is the Kipper deck. So the lover's card came reverse. Okay, so it could be that, you know, um, there was a relationship that ended, okay, this ending could be temporary, okay? People could be on break from one another. You know, it did talk about, you know, feelings are intense, love was intense, all this. Um, the privileged lady, it's someone who is stable, who is perceived by others to, you know, be comfortable, well off, okay? Not really want for anything, okay? And so something is happening around this privileged privilege lady. Now, if you're a man watching this, Okay, you know, you you could be the privileged person as well. Okay, um, there is high honor. Okay, so there is going to be some. There's going to be an event that happens to this privileged person, which I I feel like it's you. Okay, whether you're a man or a woman, that is going to bring you high honor. That's going to elevate your status. Okay. It, it can elevate your status in this earthly plane, but it can also elevate your status in the spiritual plane, okay, as well. Like, it can elevate you spiritually. It can help you to evolve spiritually. But there's going to be blessings that come through. And right after that card is the child again, okay? So y'all could be having a female child, okay? There could be a little girl that's born, okay? A little girl that's on the way. Um, and that this child is going to bring blessings, um, to you and the person that you're having this child with. Okay. Um, and so there's nothing but goodness. Now the card right after the child is distant horizons. Okay. So initially when I saw this card, my head is tingling. I saw this card reverse. So <laughs> this distant horizon is not so distant. So what spirit is saying that there is a child on the way and the child is going to be here soon. If the child is not already here, the child will soon come. There's going to be a conception very soon, okay, if the child isn't here already, all right? So now the deck that I'm going to do, let's see. Oh, there's two cards that came out. Ooh. All right. So you have the spirit. So spirit is all over this reading. Spirit is talking to you. You know, I'm just a messenger. Okay. I'm delivering the message. All right. I don't claim to have any special powers. Um, I'm just delivering the message. Okay. I'm being used as a vessel. All right. Um, but spirit is saying the unseen forces, forces watch over you. So what spirit is saying, the ancestors are watching over you. Spirit guides are watching over you. You know, there's no doom and gloom, no matter how much spell work is being done, all that bullshit. Like you don't have to worry about that. Spirit is saying that you're being protected. This woman is holding a skull. And so it's bones, right? And so the bones represent the ancestors, okay? They represent those people who have crossed over into the ancestor realm. So spirit is saying that, and and, the, and this skull is illuminated, okay? So what spirit is saying is that the ancestors, you can dedicate a light to your ancestors. You know, you could set up an ancestor shrine if you want to, or just dedicate a light, put a glass of water and a... Um, a bouquet of flowers, okay? And just give thanks to your ancestors because they are there watching over you, right? Now, you do have air. So, and you know the air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Seek a union of mind and spirit. So, you know, there could be someone with air that is figuring prominently around you, okay? Or someone that where air is prominent in their chart. It may not necessarily be their sun sign, but it could be their moon, their rising, um, okay? You do have the fire, okay? Reckless actions lead to conflict, okay? But this came reverse. So there could be a fire sign also figuring prominently here. Um, and maybe that you may be coming together with this fire sign, um, you know, maybe they want to make amends with you. That's a possibility because that card came reverse. And then you have the gate. Um, a barrier keeps you from your goal. Okay, so this gate, okay, 
this gate could be the gate that has been put up or attempted to be put up by your toxic ex and that spell work. Okay, so if you're wondering why there's a lot of stop, start and stop with a relationship or you coming into union with someone, it is as a result of someone like throwing up some brujeria, witchcraft, spell work, whatever it is in varying degrees that could be trying to block you, okay? Um, but the spirit started, they opened up and they said, your ancestors got your back, okay? You may wanna do mantras for protection like that um, Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha is a great mantra for protection or you can do Om Ayudaye Namaha. Remember it's 108 times. If you don't have your mala beads, cause the mala beads, um, I have 108 on them. You could just set your, your timer on your phone for eight to 10 minutes, close your eyes and just say it, okay? Get in the zone. These mantras are freaking amazing, okay? Um, what else was I gonna say? Okay, and you can also do um, a spiritual bath to get rid of, to cut anything. You could do a rompe saragüe bath, uh, a quita maldición bath, um, which will be in the description. Or, and then after you do that, you can do an abre camino, which is an open road bath. Okay. Okay, so let's do my southern hoodoo deck. You know, this the the cards that are coming up have to do a lot with music. So music is going to be very important to you. Just make sure you are listening to music that is going to be elevating, <laughs> elevational. Is that a word? Mm, okay. All right. All right, so that's that'll be it for this deck. All right, hold on. All right. So the first card that you got is I'm still standing. Okay, these this deck was created based on it's like my ode to the 80s, okay? And 80s right now, fashion is hot, it's coming back in style. This was 80s music, um, fashion, um, 80s um, literature, songs, okay? And so that song in the 80s, I'm Still Standing by Elton John, okay? If you think this fool would never win, well, look at me now. So Spirit is saying, no matter how much they try and knock you down, you're not going anywhere, all right? Spirit's got your front, your back, your side, okay? And you are a warrior um, and you're gonna make it, okay? Uh, last night, a DJ saved my life by In Deep. I love this song, okay? And the one of the, the lyrics of the song is, you've got your women all around town trapped in love with you, turn my radio on and saved from a broken heart, okay? So what Spirit is saying with this song is that music, like I said, is gonna be very important to you, okay? And you want motivational, inspirational music that's gonna uplift you. But also what Spirit is saying is that someone is playing the field. Someone has got a couple of options, okay? Um, they, they're dealing with a couple of people, all right? And and, and this could be call, causing you know, uncertainty and someone not being so trustworthy um, or not being so trusting, okay? You do have um, the cornbread is not done in the middle, okay? So spirit is saying that something is not ready yet. When when they say down south, the cornbread is not done in the middle, it's not good cornbread, okay? It's not cooked, it's not ready yet. Sometimes this also refers to someone that is not in the right state of mind, okay? Um, right after that, you got cold as ice, so yeah, maybe a relationship went cold or someone is, is being a little cold and distant. 
Maybe that's how they're dealing with um, an intense love connection. Okay, and then you got cold turkey. So, you know, a relationship could have stopped rather suddenly. Um, and maybe now this person is feeling the effects of like, oh, damn, I got to have her. Or I got to have him. You know, why did this happen? What are we doing? You know, um, you do have a backseat driver. So it's someone who can be a little bossy, who likes to take control of a situation when it's not really, <laughs> it's not really their position to, okay? Um, one man's trash is another man's treasure, okay? So what this is saying is what one person, you know, um, disregarded, disrespected, um, what one person did not appreciate, there's going to be someone else that is going to appreciate you a thousandfold. So don't worry about that. Okay. You did get, um, never too much by Luther Vandross. I love this song and the lyrics are, you must've known I have feelings deep enough to swim in a million days in your arms is never too much. Okay. So like, you know, when this person connects with their special person it's like, oh my God, like they want to breathe the person in. It's like when they inhale the person, maybe it's the person could smell good. Maybe it's just like the vibe and the energy. It's like almost like they get, they could get lost in one another, you know, if provided that the feelings are mutual. Um, but there is this definite, like, um, almost like someone gets intoxicated around this person. Okay, and I'm not saying like with liquor and alcohol, I'm saying like with this person's energy, okay? Um, Spirit is saying, tell me whom you love and I'll tell you who you are. So Spirit is saying like in this love connection, like, you know, if someone is dealing with like, you know, I don't want to put anyone down. Look at who these people are dealing with, okay? And then look at you. All right. So you can kind of guess where this person's head is at based on the person they're dealing with, okay? And this is what Spirit is saying. Spirit wants you to take, um, <laughs> I heard a risk assessment, but a self-assessment and maybe a risk assessment. Like, do you really want to risk it? Because these people are dealing with, <laughs> you know, round away, such and such, and you not around the way. And there's nothing wrong with being around the way, but you're not around the way. They're dealing with around the way. And is the round away good for them? Is the round away not good for them? And what does that say about them? Okay. Look, spirit is saying that clothes don't make the man. All right. So this person could, you know, like being dressed and fancy, like, you know, name brands, Balenciaga, uh, Gucci, Louis, whatever. Okay. But what spirit is saying is like, does this person have substance? Okay, this is really what this person is saying, it, this spirit is saying. And spirit could also be saying is like this person that is in question here and looking at the people that they're dealing with, do those people have substance? Okay, there are plenty of great people around the way <laughs> in the neighborhood that you live in. And that neighborhood is relative to where you are. Okay, but what spirit is saying, this, this particular person who are they connecting to, okay? And that can say a lot about their character, all right? Pot calling the kettle black, okay? So someone could be bitching and complaining about, oh, you do this and you don't do that and blah, 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 but they do the same shit, <laughs> okay? So spirit is basically saying like, stop. Don't be a hypocrite. Someone is a hypocrite here, all right? Careless Whisper. This is a classic by George Michael, okay? I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Okay, this is indicative of betrayal. I would always see, sing this song and didn't know what the hell I was singing about. Okay, until I analyzed the lyrics. All right, so basically what this is saying is that someone was dipping out with somebody and, you know, they feel a little regretful about the situation. Okay, and this person is basically saying, like, I don't think things will ever be the same again. You know, that, like, initial... Um, ex being excited about this person, being in love with this person, like this whole newness may not ever be able to be captured again because someone violated the relationship, okay? Um, and then we have Runaway Bride. So this is like the equivalent of, of the jogger, the runner in other decks, okay? Um, someone may be afraid of a commitment, 
all right? But we do know in that movie, Runaway Bride, um, she eventually commits. So this may all take time. This may be like the, the Knight of Coins, you know, as far as the movement and the speed, okay? So let's find out who is who. Ooh, not good. Okay, this is this is my my people deck. Okay, so this gives descriptions of actual people. The first card that came out, just give me a couple seconds. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. Cars usually fly out here and you know what I'm feeling is spirit does not want you to get caught up in who's who and what's what. They're giving you an idea, okay, if you have like sneaking suspicions, but don't stay stuck in that, okay? Ooh, oh, okay. Okay, that's way too many cards. I think this is like a, is this a triple, quadruple confirmation? I know I have you in suspense. I know you're like, please just tell us. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm gonna try one more time. I wanna end this reading quickly. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, so the first card that came out is evil. So there is, there is, and I'm saying that my head is tingling. You guys definitely got to be doing mantras for protection. Okay. I feel like this reading was pretty like upbeat and light, but what spirit is saying that there's, there's a dark energy that is around. Okay. Like, so handle your business spiritually. You need to be praying from the time you sit, put your foot out the bed. You got a lot of good things that are going to be happening for you. And there is that there is someone or something that's trying to put a wrench in your program. They're trying to stop it. OK, they don't want to see you happy. There is a poindexter uh, professional. So, you know, when my girlfriends and I talk about poindexters, OK, you know, poindexter is someone who's clean shaven. OK, they may have a bald head, very clean shaven. They may work like a white collar job or, you know, look, this person is clean shaven, okay? Um, and they're good at what they do. So spirit could be saying that this person that's clean shaven may not be, um, have your best interest at heart, okay? There's also someone with a wig or hair extensions. And right after that card is the dangerous card. So this person, this could be describing an, uh, an ex or maybe um, a karmic that someone who's interested in you is dealing with. Spirit is saying that this person is dangerous, that you got to watch your back, okay? 
Now this could be this wig card or if you wear hair extensions or whatever, it could just be saying acknowledging you in this reading and that dangerous is not associated with you. But the dangerous card came right after the wig extension card. So there's someone around you in the love story that is 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 dangerous, okay? Um, you did get, what was the next card that came out? You did get the, um, the law and the courts. So there could be someone <clears throat> that's dealing with the law or maybe having challenges with the law or dealing with a court issue, okay? And then you got the baby or pregnancy, all right? So, yeah, a baby soon come, okay? And I'm not questioning that. So y'all, if you don't want a baby, you better wrap it up, okay? Um, great grandparent. So there's a great grandparent here that's on the scene, okay? Um, this great grandparent could be an ancestor that's watching over you, that's um, letting their energy be known, okay? So those of you who were inquiring about a great grandparent, um, the spirit is letting you know that they're here and they're announcing themselves. That also too that this spirit is is watching over you. Okay, um, you got a tall um, uh, double confirmation card again. So someone in this this story is tall, and then there is someone that's old or older. Um, Uh, maybe that old could be referring to maybe an ex, maybe someone that's a former person, a fling, a, you know, a fling, someone. And then finally, you got accident injury again. So this is the third accident injury card. So guys, you got to be very careful. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. You are so welcome into Ayaba's Win family. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Um, stay tuned for September, hopefully. Um, and um, yeah, I will see you soon. Ciao.